During the COVID-19 outbreak, a lot has been said about our frontline workers. Doctors, nurses, hospital personnel, and many others are rightly praised for the life-saving work that they're doing. But many of us seem to underestimate the role of a group of healthcare workers who are often the most accessible to their communities. And this is why we're dedicating this episode of Brave Matters to South Africa's pharmacists. KZN-based pharmacist Sham Moodley understands the intricacies and influence of pharmacists in a community. Sham, do you agree that pharmacists are often the most accessible health workers and sometimes the most underestimated ones in many communities? Oh, absolutely. Just in terms of where they're located um, within community structures, and you would find them in the city center, in the malls, in outlying areas, in deep rural areas. You'd always find this person that you can walk into and have a chat without even worrying about how much it's going to cost to start off with. Yeah, I think we play a critical role in the healthcare system. If you think about a patient's cycle, they would visit multiple players in the industry, and all of that comes back to the pharmacist. And it's almost a central coordinating role that brings all of those inputs together. Do you think your role in the community has changed since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, and in what way? When the lockdown was announced, you'd remember the president started with services that will be open. And I think his first line was community pharmacy will be open. So we were almost the first port of call, both in South Africa and internationally. And we stayed down through every lockdown process. We stayed open. So that was, I think, an event that created a bit of safety net for patients. When the panic started, and many patients walked into pharmacies wanting to ensure that the cupboards were stocked of medicines that they might require, flu-type medication. And we had a huge demand in that March and April period. I think even before the COVID-19, the role of the pharmacist changed somewhat, offering services that communities might not be aware of, outside of the fact that you've got this pharmacist in a community that is filling a prescription. You know, you just walk in and get the service but it's the coordinating role that happens behind the scene to ensure that that script gets full correctly. Outside of that, that those medicines are available. Every time a process happens in a pharmacy, there's a tick box of uh, safety measures that are happening behind the scene that you're not aware of. The pharmacist is checking drug interactions, is ensuring that it's the right medicine and it's an appropriate dosage form. And when you leave, the pharmacist ensures that you're walking out with absolute safety. As chairman of the Independent Community Pharmacy Association, is there anything that you would like people to know about their local pharmacist? A few things. One is if you are coming into a pharmacy, make sure that you don't have COVID symptoms. Rather call the pharmacy and access that service there. So there's a whole lot of technology we had to put in place, WhatsApp, electronic systems that we now are using to communicate with patients. So the first thing to do is to call. The next thing I think where communities can be really helpful, during the lockdown period, there are a lot of people that have to stay locked in. They might be COVID positive, uh, struggling with depression, for example. So keep an eye out in your community. Inform the local pharmacist, inform the GP, for example. We could uh, provide some resources and help to that patient. And I think the next big one for me is uh, what the president has announced as the, the second pandemic, which is uh, the issue of violence against women and children. And I think that's another big area that communities can play a role in. Don't keep quiet, come out, inform us so that we can provide the resources to protect those people within the community. So next time you enter your local pharmacy, remember the critical role these frontline workers play, not just during COVID-19, but also in helping manage the day-to-day -day health and well-being of their community.